Hello to everyone. I am in Duroc, and today I am playing more Penumbra, the Black Clay. So anyway, oh, okay, yeah, I think, okay, I think I was correct. All right, so anyway, in the last video, in the last video, we were in some nightmare land, and I have a <coughs> you know, I kind of got around to thinking that, like, maybe. Maybe the that maybe I I might have possibly crossed over from my dream to this random to this uh, mysterious voice guy in this dream. I have no idea if that's correct, but oh, I'm gonna need to space these out more. But straighten you out. I might as well at least line these up. At least that's just a guess from me that uh, that I might have sort of crossed over to this guy's dream or something because it seemed to me that like his voice so that like you only hear his voice in certain parts of the nightmare land. All right, so now. Excuse me? I heard a sound in there. Sounded like water monsters. So anyway, like, apparently the game does auto-save, but it auto-saved me to, uh, the part of the Nightmare Land where I have to jump over those, um, wooden planks that make a barricade, so I had to do that. Hmm, a valve! And of course, water! Now I can get a cross. Alright. I did it. I didn't even realize I still have this glow stick out. I'm gonna keep it out. Probably. Probably be a good idea. What? An exit. I would love to get out of here. I'm sure you would. Now, let's just boost this box over here. And then pile up these other boxes right here. Can I get on top of there from here? Yes, I can. Huh. I only need one box. I thought I would need more, but apparently I don't because I'm awesome. So I don't know what this character's name is. No, I can't flush that toilet. Oh, plumbing's all dead here. I've had better days. I can't even see myself in here. Interesting music. I guess it means that there's temporarily going to be no danger. Yep, plumbing's all kaput. Uh. Oh. TV's in poor condition. No, it doesn't. It's just old. Like, look at that. It has buttons on it. Like, like all the number buttons on it. We don't have that anymore. Well, I'm sure there are TVs around that still do, but they don't make them like that anymore. The shelf is empty. No, it's not. There's like four books. 
Now the shelf is empty. What could be in here? Bad ways. I haven't been using my flashlight at all. Mainly because I haven't felt the absolute need for it. Alright. Yay. Every time it's harder to pull out. Every time I feel more of I feel more of myself inside. Good. Better than the rest. You're weird. No power. Diablet. Alright. Wait, what's this? A fuse, eh? Fuse box rusty and worn seems to be working. Oops. Uh. Uh, let, here. Oh, let me just. Oh! Interesting. Incoming video chat. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel. Amabel Swanson. <coughs> and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello? Dial. Can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I don't talk on anyway. Webcam, pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said My he dad. found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. <coughs> you need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, <coughs> Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. Hmm. What else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Present and accounted for. Did, did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. En enough already. My sides are splitting. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the ship. Oh, okay. Recent research. <coughs> All right. Uh, infection process. The worst thing about my job. Death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the in the old mess hall. Research subjects, three. Uh, how do you say that word? Archaic. Yeah, archaic. <coughs> three archaic personnel who contracted the dis the virus. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of this virus becomes clearer. In addition, the already documented symptoms. There seems to be some final stage. Th wait, wait, what? Okay, final stage during which the or organism fully takes hold. <coughs> What's up with my throat? Jeez. Maybe tomato soup's not the best thing to have before recording. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange, out-of-body experiences. They've likened to these. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle cause. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force, shortly after which we lose some for good. If these experiences are as they seem to be, <coughs> uh, I mean, if these experiences are as they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infected process that we can only theorize as 
as to what might occur were the patient to escape the hallucination. Additional note. Today, Dr. M Eminis confided in me that he has just that he has just such that he has had just such an experience. He insists that we f that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. <coughs> my father, he's close. Indeed, he is good, ma my good man. You are such a dingus. Okay, I was wondering what was up with that noise there. Very well. Oh, lights! Camera! Action! Alright. Infected. I'd skip a beat when I heard that word in association with me. Still, it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either. But by that point... I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. She probably is somewhat. I've no idea. <coughs> Okie dokie then. So let's continue. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. Bob! So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet. I find myself at a loss. Any ideas, monkey? Bob, or if you're evil, Sam I am. So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? 3,103 and a half films you see? That's a lot of films. Oh, got the first half of It's a Wonderful Life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. Who the hell is this guy even? You know, Clarence. That's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. <coughs> Very well then. If that is what you wish. Blocking the door from the other side. Either way, I'm not going to get through. Locked or jammed. How dare you. Damn it. Double it. And looks so small, that little hand scanner. Which way should I go? Wait, what? Okay. Infirmary. Machine room. Library. It's probably the best place to go, but I'm actually, I'm just going to go this way. It's the map of the area. Good discovery. Computer central. Alright, let's go to computer central. Savaged, infected, terrified, and now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy, even me. Regardless, I need to find a way through and into the library. Maybe Computer Central will help. Uh, I can't interact with that. Some broken cables. A deposit box. I remember why you're here. A Dr. Swanson has filled me in. I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an inflection in her tone that suggested she no longer trusted me. Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago uh, would she think that? I... We share the same history. <coughs> you and I are history. I recall... I recall the day of my birth, 18th of September, 1964, 3.46993412, recurring minutes past nine. I remember my mother looking okay. surprised as I poked my head out into the world for the first time. 
you need a security registered form. Something I can provide. You need it at the library. Something beyond my reach. When I became infected by those mindless zombies, I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a saw. I recall seeing one on my first day here. Three years ago, climate change of 10 degrees over the past one million years. Walk east and take the first door on your right. There are others. He's like you, like us, yet he is not us. Why is he separate and yet we are bound together? Are we truly a we, or are we simply an I with two faces? But I am no monkey. I know you're not. So Mr. Doctor Man needs I saw. Shelves contain various manuals, spare parts, and other computer-related material. Perhaps I can find something that helps me understand how the stuff works here. Yay. Anything on top of those? Nope. Why do I still have this out? I don't need it. I used to be... It used to be racks for circuit cards. How about no? Boop. 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 Nope. Boop. 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 Yay! Stop painkillers! Let's see what's in here. Gimme! Flash eye batteries. How many do I have? I have nine. Nine. Broken beyond repair. Alright, so. Circuit cards. I think I need to grab doors. Let me take a look around there. Okay, so. All burnt! Darn crap it! How dare you be all burnt up, you stupid thingies. I'm a little unsure about going into here. Oh, well, there's nothing here. Close it! Must have been an accident here. You, sh you really think so? So I have to look around for some of those computer thingy whatever's blabby buzz. All right, let's go then somewhere else. What's this? Maybe I can get them out. Batteries. I'm getting a lot of these. Oh, aha! Wait, what's that? Another strange artifact. I like the history of this organization. <clears throat> Very good, then. As a member of the Archaic, you are part of an organization vital to the protection of the human species. If you are not a member of the Archaic, please turn yourself into the nearest community support officer. The, Arch the Archaic, as we know it, was founded in 1519 by Francesco Me Melzi what? A me a min mina noble. The foundation of move of the movement assumed ero ero erroneously by some to be a sect was the private work of Leonardo di Serpi I hate these words. I hate these n names and stuff. I don't like it. Because I can never say them. Right. Revealed 
to his most trusted student, Melzi, uh, on his deathbed. Many rumors circul circulated at the time pertaining towards a, what? a sexual relationship between the two, and this was an explanation for their secrecy they were quite happy to embrace. Much is held to be known of da, Vinci, da Vinci's engineering work through uh, though, in truth, the, f the few sketches and notes in the public domain only begin to touch on the depth of his knowledge. For instance, it is often said his designs for flying machines... It is often said that of his designs for flying machines that they were entirely impractical. We realized that they were only impract that they were only impractical when limited by human production materials. The archaic remained unnamed for centuries. Mel is that am I saying that name right? Melzi Mel I don't know. And his successors understood the power of the of a name to identify and tie down its owner. Even today, archaic remains an unofficial and internal term. It seems that when I move the mouse along with the words I'm reading, it may helps me read faster. As we enter the twenty first century, the archaic performs much the same role as it always has to locate, understand, and protect Xeno evidence and life forms albeit on a far greater scale. Today, the ARV movement is served by over 30,000 devoted members at 203 installations worldwide. Interesting. I should read like that more often then. By doing that. Canteen. <laughs> Storage machine room infirmary. 3061. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! This is the door that was blocked. If I'm correct, I think this is the... Yeah, it's 153. I think this is the save you save. If so, I'll take a look. Load game. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's that's how you save. All right. Just wanted to be absolutely sure. Traditional art, the kind, the only kind I didn't really know how to appreciate. Anyway, I guess might as well go onwards. Hello? Sam, I am. Where's this lead? Machine room. Storage. Sounds like a place I want to go. Right. Armory. Ah, yes. Back here again. Alright. I guess let's go. Might as well take a look. Empty storage boxes. How do you know they're empty? They're covered in tarp. Or whatever. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a mattress. Stupid. Flour! Another floor. Oh, here's the saw. <laughs> There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'm actually have time. So I think I'll stop this video here. 
You go away. So that's the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.